Hi, Robert. Um, I know you're going to get a lot of support and a lot of responses. And I want to take the time out now to say um, that is an amazing thing that you just did. And um, asking for help takes a lot of guts and a lot of courage. And especially since you know that you're going to get a lot of people that are jerks. Let's face it. Um, I am right now 349. Um, I was 415. Um, and that's, I mean, years and years and years of trying. Um, I found out that I have a hormone deficiency that's causing it. Um, I don't know medically what's wrong. Um, if doctors have seen you and won't help you, most of the time they look at you and they say, oh, just stop eating. Um, and that is sometimes not the case. Um, I've done a lot of research um, and people that are hugely um, overweight um, is, um, and like you, it, it, it seems like you're stuck in bed or you're pretty close to it. Um, my suggestions, and they're just suggestions, I don't know what else you're going to find out there, but um, I'm sure you've heard of, I cannot pronounce his name, he's in Mexico, he was the heaviest man to ever lose so much weight, and he was stuck in bed, um, and what he did is they put a, over his bed, they have like a, um, a support beam, and there's... Um, I don't know if you remember who Susan Powder is, but Susan Powder is a weight, weight loss fitness guru from the 80s and 90s. And she says that there's four things you have to do. Sorry, four things that you have to do. You have to eat, breathe, move, and think. So think about what you're putting in your body. Your body needs food and fuel to eat. Um, and you need to move to put oxygen in your body. Um, let's see, eat, breathe, move, and think. I can't remember. I, <laughs> um, but anyways, um, so for moving, moving around, I know the exercise is, it, I mean, for me, I'm in a lot of pain with other things that's going on. Um, and it, it's very hard for me to lose weight. So moving around is essential it's getting oxygen inside your body so moving around so what he did is he put his hands over the um, the tripod that they had and he just moved he kept moving his arms and he just kept moving around and he would do that for I think a couple you know like uh, 10 minutes at a time he'd rest then he'd go back to it rest go back to it and that's really helped him a lot by moving like that so just I'm not saying you know get up and do cardio that it's it's impossible right now but if you could just move around uh, you know it's setting where you're at but just moving around for 10 minutes at a time and and that helps get oxygen into your body um, it'll help you feel better physically and spiritually as well another thing is um, eating I'm pretty sure that people are bringing you food um, and if they're not, if you're getting up to get it, or if, if you're getting out to get it, or if somebody's bringing it to you, you need to try to eat clean, healthy food. So if you can, if you can, if you can start doing that, I mean, I know for me, like, when I eat something that I know is going to make me feel bad, I don't want to feel bad. I, I'm sick of feeling bad. I feel bad all the time. I'm so sick of feeling bad that it is it is um, depressing. It it makes me angry, and there's no reason to feel bad. I, yes, weight is an issue. We're all gonna feel bad because of our weight, but putting stuff in our in our bodies to make us feel worse only only makes you know makes the problem ten times worse. So if you could start eating foods that are clean and healthy for you, that'll make you feel better. You know, a lot of people say, well, how can I cheat? Stop worrying about cheating. Stop worrying about the kind of foods that make you feel bad. Only think about the food that's going to make you feel good. 
and I, I'm sure that people that are bringing you food or that you're going out and getting or however it's coming to you just try to think of what are the foods that are going to make me feel good I mean instead of eating you know try to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and 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 try to be healthy healthier mind thinking um, it, you know I'm not I'm not sure if you eat a lot of meats or whatever a lot of fried foods fried foods make you feel terrible so just try to think about how to make yourself feel better um, mentally and what you start putting in your body will make you feel better as well so you want to feed the better healthier part of you instead of always feeding the negative depressing side of you stop feeding that because the stuff that you're feeding it is only giving you energy to feel worse and feel ugh. so is try to start feeding the good positive things that you want to do the good positive emotions that you're doing um, and um, I want you to start thinking about how good you're feeling how good you want to feel and as you're thinking those good positive thoughts that's what you're gonna start feeding that so those are my suggestions um, I know that you're gonna get a lot of doctors that are gonna want to give you surgeries um, in my personal opinion I had the weight loss band I had the band um, that worked perfect for my husband. He's lost over a hundred pounds in a year. That's amazing. Um, the big surgery that the Ruin Y, R and Y, whatever it's called, that realigns your system. My personal opinion is that you are way, way too heavy for that surgery, and it is a huge surgery that cannot be undone. And if anything happens to you, they can't redo it. Um, the, that's just my thought but I think right now surgery is is just too too it's not for you because of, of the the health that, the health that you're in um, another thing that I would suggest I know that the guy that I was telling you about that's in uh, Mexico um, he was on the beach beach diet I heard really good things about that. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I know that I eat a lot of organic, healthy, clean foods, things that I want to eat to make me feel better. Um, and, and that's what you want to try to do. And that's just my suggestions. But I admire you so much for finally saying, my God, finally help me. Please, I'm, I'm asking for help. And I think that is amazing that you're doing that. And if you ever need to talk, please message me and I will be more than happy to. I hope that you have a great day and I hope that the people that are contacting you will help you instead of just saying stop eating because stop eating is not an option. Everybody needs to eat. Everyone does. Um, I hope you feel better soon and um, I hope you reach out to the people that are positive to you and that will only make you feel better.